Prater on to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. Short boot, take it at the 21. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And to give this time to the tailback. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity map to go out the window. And they've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. They'll set up a throw. And able to find John Brown. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All these years we've been watching the game, I start to get the sense that whenever it rains out, those guys have to touch the ball and carry it. They're extremely resentful about that weather. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads. I know that much. Yeah, maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here <laughs> as we just saw the fumble happen on the field. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Second down, here's Rodgers. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they'll get him down up past the 15. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful? You're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And the two-minute warning lurking. This will probably be the last play before we hit it. Yeah, they want to get themselves in position to score in this last shot before the clock hits. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Escaping the pressure right. It's caught on the right side. It's Smith. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He's got his tight end complete. It's green. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of six there on first. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, after that pickup of a first down, I think some of the defensive guys are going to be looking over their coordinator and saying that was not in the scouting report. That went against every tendency most teams have. You don't usually hand the ball to your big guy in that situation. Sometimes you catch him by surprise. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh shut of downs. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Rodgers to throw on second down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Rodgers now on first down. And it's caught over the middle by the tight end, Green. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. The Bucks last year just eight rushing touchdowns, tied for second fewest in the NFL. They've got it first and goal now. Rodgers again now. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Torrey Smith in the final seconds of the first half. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. And a fair catch taken here at the five-yard line. Huh, interesting. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Just get out of there. Throw now on the final play. And that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando, he's standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. <laughs> bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line out comes the Dolphins now they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter they come out here with a zero on the scoreboard what was said in that locker room that's what I want to know I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting screaming people upset but typically halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that 
And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. He'll look to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. Pass the 20. 10, 5. And he gets this down deep into Tampa Bay territory. It's a big play there for Miami. 56 yards. Green, 39. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. now on first down and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete so the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead but now here third quarter maybe go to the run game a little more yeah perhaps i mean after that incompletion a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall oh and now he bowls him over oh he's got a little daylight 20 and he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A big play there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Steps away to his left. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. James Harrison. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he's brought down after a good game. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Yeah, he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Baldrick Robinson, 63 yards. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And yeah, Tampa Bay trots out there now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. But always got some breathing room. <laughs> and he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A great effort there. Now with his third touchdown in his first ever NFL game. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Prater now set to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And he comes back with one complete. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's got his man on the crossing route. 
And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. A very solid gain of 27. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. He'll drop to throw. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. They'll look to throw again. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. So we just witnessed touchdown number one for the Rook, and certainly that's a football he's going to want for the trophy case. Yeah, this is one that you don't spike, right? This is one you don't throw to your teammate and let them celebrate. This is one you keep for yourself, take it over to the equipment staff and have them mark it up, put it away, and then you get it later on. And as you said, mounted in your trophy case. Fantastic. Hopefully the first of many. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. <laughs> the risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he will go down side of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Now it's Rodgers. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the 5-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. The quick slant caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Now receiver in motion left. Two receivers left, one to the right. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Flush to his right. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Aaron Rodgers punching it in from a yard away. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. now set to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. 
The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. Gain of 25 yards. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. They'll set up a throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They'll look to throw here. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Dequell Jackson in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. On play action, they'll throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll drop the throw. He's got him, and Dola, touchdown Miami. Danny Amendola, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play? Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Now they go screen. It's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. On second down, here's Rodgers. Forced out to his left. He's going to air it out deep for Green. They almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the off. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know. Defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. They'll run it now out of the gun. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and ten. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. 
But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Being chased out left. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the secondaries really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. Rodgers to throw for it on four. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Aaron Rodgers, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Yeah, before they can get the playoff, here's a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball. That's their first of this second half. So they're going to go for two. They'll try the draw, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Oh, boy, rubbing a little salt in the wound there going for two up this big. You know, there was one time when I played, Brandon, and played against a team that was just absolutely pile-driving us, and they ended up going for two late in the game. And I asked one of the guys, why'd you do that? He said, because we wanted to win by more. That feels like that type of situation. Wow. Well, it could also result in a melee later, though. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. And out come the Dolphins now. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Darren Lee picks it. And that will write a finish to this ball game. This first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the flyover, the big American flag out there before the game.